Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Simply Scripture. Today I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation. And in this video I'm going to be reading the book of Galatians chapter 4. Um, sorry if you hear my emergency flashers blinking. I'm pulled off on the side of the road right now. So, uh, anyway, I just, just if you hear them, that's what it is. But before, before I get started, I want to say a little prayer. Dear God, I come to you today. I just want to thank you for all you do, Lord. Lord, thank you for sending your son so that I can live with you for eternity in heaven, Lord. I just pray for anyone that might be listening, that you touch their heart and that they come to know you, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you help me to submit to your will today. Help me to serve you and glorify you in all that I do, Lord. Lord, I pray for strength and I pray for encouragement. And Lord, I just, I pray for your grace and mercy over my life. Forgive me of anything that I may have done that wasn't pleasing to you, Lord. I just pray that you help me to do better today than I did yesterday. Lord, I pray for our country. Um, huh, Lord, I, I just, you know what we need. We need you, Lord. I just pray that you just fill this country with your spirit and rebuke anything that's not of you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All righty. Galatians chapter 4. Now I say that the heir as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is a master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the Father. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the, the world. But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. But then, indeed, when you, when you did when you did not know God, you served those which by nature are not God's. But now, after you have known God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you turn again to the weak and beggarly elements, to which you desire again to be in bondage? You deserve days and months and seasons and years. I'm afraid for you, lest I have labored in vain, Brethren, I urge you to become like me, for I became like you. You have not injured me at all. You know that because of physical infirmity, I preached the gospel to you at the first. In my trial, which was in my flesh, you did not despise or reject, but you received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. What then was the blessing you enjoyed? For I bear you witness that, if possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and given them to me. I have therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. They zealously court you, but for no good. Yes, they want to exclude you, that you may be zealous for them. But it is good to be zealous in a good thing, always, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, for whom, I, for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you, I would like to be present with you now and, change, and to change my tone, for I have doubts about you. Tell me, you who desire to be under the law, do you not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman, the other by the by a free woman. 
But he who was of the bondwoman was born according to the flesh, and he of the free woman through promise, which things are symbolic. For these are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, which gives birth to bondage, which is Hagar. For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and corresponds to Jerusalem, which is now and is in bondage with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, which is mother of, all, of us all. For it is written, Rejoice, O barren, you who do not bear. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For the desolate has many more children than she who has a husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are children of promise. But as he who was born according to the flesh, then persecuted him who was born according to the Spirit, even so it is now. Nevertheless, what does the scripture say? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. God bless y'all. hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I really appreciate y'all listening.